it's Ren. So today I'm back with another fall makeup look for you guys and I'm really liking this one. Um, I kind of came up with it I think like a week ago and I've been wanting to film it but I've been just kind of like really busy because I've been packing and cleaning for Europe and stuff and um, I finally got around to filming it today and I really like it. So I'm calling this my hazel look because it's like perfect for hazel eyes but whatever your eye color is you can still do the look if you like it. Um, and so it's kind of, it's kind of hard to see with this light. I know my light's terrible. I need to get a new one. Um, but I did like a nice kind of like olivey foresty green up into the crease. And then I just have like some shimmery browns on the lids. And, um, I did really cool purple liner, which I think goes really great for like fall colors. Like I love the colors like greens and bronzes and coppers and purples for fall. And then um, I did like that low blush that comes down onto the rest of your face, which is really in, in a really big fall runway trend right now. And um, I also did two lip looks for this look. I have this look with just like a, a nude kind of peachy look and then a bright pink look for your lips. So it's a really fun look for fall and I think it's a really cool like, kind of transition with the eyes, just kind of going from that green to that kind of goldy, orangey colors that you see in the fall leaves. Um, so yeah, I really like this look and so I hope you enjoy it and I'll talk to you all soon. Bye guys! First you want to prime your eyes with an eyeshadow primer, just bringing it up all the way to the brow bone and then smoothing it in. Next I'm going to add a white eyeshadow base. Since we are using some colorful eyeshadows, I want to make sure that they stay vibrant. downtown just kind of shimmery brown bronze and I'm just gonna put this all over the lid as the base kind of then I'm gonna take the color clay which is a kind of yellow toned shimmery champagne and focus this onto the inner corners of my eyes as a highlight tequila which is a very pale gold and focuses onto my brow bone. It doesn't have any glitter so it's not too overpowering. Now I'm taking the color Orby which is a nice olive green tone onto a crease brush and I'm going to focus this into my crease. I'm holding the brush kind of on its sides so that's really getting a lot of depth and also a lot of height with the color. And you just want to mostly focus this onto the outer corners, kind of making it a pointed shape, almost like a cat eye effect. using a lighter pale green called Dime Bag and just focusing this kind of mostly onto the outer corners for extra color. Then once you're done with applying the green shadows, just go in with a fluffy kind of smudge brush and just smudge everything in and smooth it out so we have no harsh lines. that crease brush I'm going to take a shadow called Baroque which is a darker chocolatey brown and I'm going to kind of line this right along my lash line just about halfway into the eye. This is just going to add some extra color and a little bit more darkness to that outer part of the eye. Finally with a small angled brush I'm going to take the color leather and line this halfway onto my lower lash line. And so now all your eyeshadows are done. 
I'm going to be taking a black eyeliner and tight lining my lashes just to give them some extra fullness when I apply my mascara. To add even more color to the look, I'm going to be taking a kind of plummy purple eyeliner and lining this into my lower lash line. So this way it will get smudged into the lashes and make them fuller but also add some extra color onto the skin of my lower lash line. Then I'm going to go in with the same eyeliner and line my upper lash line, kind of just doing messy little strokes along it so it's kind of smudged and smoky. You also want to try to make a small messy flick with the eyeliner. Now with an angled brush, I'm just going to go in and smudge out the liner just so it's a little bit softer. taking a kind of black brown eyeliner and I'm going to line this in a very very thin line along my upper lash line so that this will kind of blend in with the purple eyeliner and give it sort of an ombre effect. to the purple liner, go ahead and line this into your waterline. And you also want to put it into the inner tear ducts of your eyes. Next, just curl your lashes so that they're ready for mascara. I'm going to be using a lengthening and volumizing mascara, and so I just want to get this into my lashes, pulling them upwards, and as I pull upwards, twirling the brush. This way I'll really get into the lashes, giving them a more curled effect, and really coating each lash. the eyes are all done. For the face we're going to start with a matte bronzer. Just choose any one that's a little bit darker than your natural skin tone and just sweep this along the sides of your face, hooking onto your temples, your jaw, and then also into the hollows of your cheeks. This is going to give us some color and also do some contouring. blush brush of your choosing and using a pinky coral blush. You're going to focus this first onto the apples of your cheeks, bringing it towards your hairline, and then you're also going to bring it down past where you usually do your contouring on the hollows of your cheeks. Low blush is really big on the fall runway this year. I'm going to be using a shimmery pale champagne powder and I'm going to use just my finger and swirl a little bit into the product and just go right above the tops of my cheeks to add some extra highlight and glow to my face. For lips I have two options. One is a nude where I'll be using a nude lipstick and then also a peachy coral lipstick. So for this you're just going to put the nude lipstick onto your bottom lip, just making sure it's in an even coat. And then for your top lip, you're going to be using the orangey coral color and put this right on there. Once the colors have been applied, just rub your lips together for a while. This could take a little bit depending on the consistency of the lipsticks. And you're going to come out with a perfect kind of peachy nude colored lipstick. The second is a little more vibrant. For this I'm going to be using a candy pink color lipstick and just put this all over my top and bottom lip. Pink always goes really great with a green eye look and this is no exception. This will give you a little bit more of a playful look, whereas the other one will look a little bit more professional and muted. Now you're making
makeup is all done. This look is inspired by the colors of the trees as they go from summer colors to fall colors and gives a really great effect to hazel eyes, really bringing out that green in your eyes. I hope you enjoyed the look everyone and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.